All right, fastest 15 minutes on the internet, fastest 15 minutes in social media, and my name is Judson Powell. I am the CEO of Capri Television, Capri TV, K-H-E-P-R-I-I. We are on the Roku network. Um, check us out. Go to Roku, go to the Roku channel store and sign up for Capri today. We play uh, vintage movies and we also play the latest music videos. And of course, uh, it's all good. Music and, and, and movies, you can't beat it. All right. Anyway, so and, and it's free, by the way, free. All right. I want to address something uh, that I really don't want to address, but I feel like it's kind of necessary. It's like. Uh, black folks, we love drama. We we got we always got to be in some drama, and so I've been look I've been like checking out all of this stuff that's been going on uh, with Jason Whitlock and uh, Stephen A. Smith, and I was gonna actually talk about this like uh, a, a while back, and then I just was like, ah, you know, forget it. I was you know it was the holidays. I was on I was kind of like uh, on vacay and all of that kind of stuff. So. I would just like, you know, forget that, you know, I'm, I'm not even going to, I'm not even going to deal with it. So, but now the, the stuff is escalated with him and Stephen A and, um, and, but, but I'm trying to figure out what is the, is, is, is like, uh, is Jason Whitlock's in game? Like, I, I don't understand why he's doing all of this stuff and I don't understand what's going on. Uh, between the two of them, between Stephen A. And the reason why I was going to talk about this before was because he was really coming down hard on Deion Sanders. And I've been noticing, you know, in the media period, when I go through all my news feeds and everything, I look and I always see that whenever they talk about Dion, they make it like, uh, uh, just it's just a, a, a bad situation and they try to make it look worse than what it is like anytime somebody enters the transfer portal anytime uh you know something goes wrong at colorado you know they they try to figure out a way uh to blame it on dion or to make it look like dion ain't doing his job or to make it look like dion is is somehow inadequate as a coach or inadequate as a man inadequate as a person whatever all right, so that was kind of getting to me, but then it was like then all of a sudden Jason Whitlock jumps into the fray and he's like going around talking about, well, he shouldn't have been playing his sons and, uh, you know, he's, he's just, you know, doing things so that his sons can make it into the NFL. Well, guess what? I'm all for that. Nepotism is something that black folks have not really benefited from for years and years and years. And, and the majority community and other communities always benefit from nepotism. If, if I, you know, if my son, if my son, you know, any of my sons uh, wanted to go into broadcasting and I could give them a leg up as far as what goes on in broadcasting, I definitely would do it, you know? So, I don't see anything wrong with that. As a matter of fact, I think is I think it's admirable that Dion would want to have his sons follow in his footsteps and also, you know, go to the NFL. It's a it's a great thing. So, but but he was talking about how, you know, how he was, you know, hurting his son and and he even tried to even go as far as saying that it was un unchristian like and, and all kinds of stuff. So that was a while back. And I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, you know, where is all this coming from? Because none of it really made any sense to me. None of it. None of it made sense to me at all. Like, why is he talking about this man in a negative light when all this man is trying to do is help out his children? And any man, any black man that's trying to help his children, I give him a thumbs up. In fact, I give him two thumbs up, you know, and a, and a right on my brother. You know, do whatever you can to help the children and to help the help them get through the future. Well, now come around full circle, and now we got this whole thing with Stephen A. What difference does it make? Like he's trying to, to trying to discredit 
Stephen A. And I'm not a, 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 a don't get me wrong. I'm not no huge Stephen A. fan. You know, I'm not a I'm not a you know I'm not like a diehard Stephen A. fan. And I'm not gonna you know I'm not gonna you know support every single thing that he says. I don't always agree with everything that he says. But that's with anybody, right? We don't always agree with what everybody says about every situation. But this whole Stephen A. thing is crazy. Okay, he says he went to Winston-Salem State, uh, which is a HBCU. Uh, he played for Clarence Big House Games, you know, famous, famous, one of the most famous basketball coaches uh, in, in HBCU history, and in fact, in college basketball history, period. All right. In fact, I've been, you know, I, I got to see <laughs> when I, I went to Hampton. So I got to see, uh, you know, I got to see him several times while we were uh, at Hampton. And, uh, and, and you know, the, the guy was definitely, he was definitely the man. Okay. I'm not going to, I'm not going to say anything negative about, about Coach Gaines. Okay. But here's the thing. Stephen A. says that while he was there, he only played in one game and he got hurt. And so, but his scoring average was 1.5, right? He scored, he averaged 1.5 points a game, but he says he only really played in one game. So Jason Whitlock goes and does all this research to find out, I guess, that Stephen A. actually, well, he says Stephen Smith. He doesn't have, he's not even sure if the same, if it's the same person, that this guy Stephen Smith actually played nine games. Okay, but what does that have to do with anything right now today in 2024? 2024 in 2024, what does that have to do with the price of, like my grandma would say, with the price of tea in China? What, is it, what does it really have to do with anything that's going on right now? And I think that, that all it is is because, first of all, I think that, that Jason Whitlock, number one, you know, he left, he left Fox Sports, um, he left ESPN, and is, is unsure the circumstances by which he left. According to, according to most reports, he left voluntarily because he felt like in the in the podcast in this whole new media generation that he felt like there were more opportunities outside of the network and of course we have seen like many people leave the networks and become very very uh, successful in their own right just because of things like the internet and social media so we get that and you know I get that but now it seems to me like he's trying to build his brand based on putting down other people. He has also talked about one of the, you know, right, right now, Shannon Sharp is one of the most popular podcasters out there. And Jason Whitlock also has beef with, with Shannon Sharp. So it's like, why are you beefing with everybody? What is the deal? Why, why is everybody, you know, on your on your bad guy list, but nobody is is really like talking about you. You're not their bad guy. They're not they're not looking for you. You're looking for them. So I believe this, and this is you know this is my opinion. I believe that all he's doing is that he's trying to build his brand, his credibility or whatever off the backs of all these other people that he looks at as being successful and that their shows are are more you know and and, and it's quantifiable that he, that their shows are more popular than his that's that's the truth he's just he's just not popular and then now Stephen a i will say this now i don't i don't necessarily agree with the whole with the whole name calling. Now, Jason didn't, as far as I know, I haven't seen any uh, footage or anything like that where he was like calling them names or or anything like that. So I don't know about the whole name calling thing, which I don't think is cool, right? We as, we, you know, we as black men, 
we need to we need to like really refrain from that that's not really in my opinion that's not cool it's like why are you why are you uh name calling and putting down this other black man and the other thing is what why do you need to to build your brand standing on the backs of other people it's like do good shows get good get good guests you know give good commentary about things that that matter you know i guess his and, and i guess his show is about sports i don't watch his show but if your show is about sports then get people on your show that are in sports i mean there's a ton there's a ton of current uh and and ex athletes that love being on television all the time so why are you not going after those people and doing substantive interviews some good interviews and and just standing on your own merits that's my problem with the whole situation there is no reason why you should you know whether you like them or not why are you doing shows about people that you you know it, it, it doesn't make any sense to me why are you doing shows about people why are you talking about people why are you going after people virtually for no reason except that the only thing that I could see is that you think that it's going to build your brand period that's the only thing that's the only thing that I could see from the whole thing and and but I think that that all the negativity is actually doing you a disservice because you're creating a lot of people that don't like you you know you're creating a lot of people that are sitting back because I'm one of them. I'm one of those people that's going now. I'm like, you know, what's wrong with this dude? You know, all in any and 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 putting down successful black men is 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 problematic to me. That's real problematic. Anytime your whole thing is based on putting down successful black men, that's a bad thing. And then the other thing is to to come at it and and this is another thing he has been coming at it from a religion standpoint he is inserting jesus and god and all of this stuff into the equation which is completely unnecessary completely unnecessary right why are you why are you uh questioning these men and their faith or their religion or whatever they believe in it's not necessary it, it, it's just it's just one of those things that that that's their business how you you know what you, who your God is who you worship how you worship them all of that kind of stuff is your business unless you put yourself out there as being a a a a man or a pastor or some religious um, you know person or some religious leader then what difference does that make to anybody else? That has nothing to do with you. Mind your business. Mind your own business and take care of your own spiritual path and your spirituality. Handle that. Because every man is gonna, is gonna when it comes to that, you walk your own path. You ain't going, you know, you going out of here by yourself. So when you meet your maker, you're going to meet your maker on your own. So every man, you know, that's that's up to him. That's that's in his wheelhouse. That ain't in your wheelhouse. Get out get out of everybody else's spiritual business. And he and he especially did it when it came down to Deion Sanders, who we know that that all Deion Sanders you know that that his second like like the 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 first thing that Dion talks about is football, and then after that, the next thing he talks about is Jesus. I mean, y'all can y'all can pretty much verify that through all of his actions and everything that he has said over the years. And Stephen A., you know, from what I know, he's a church going man, and, and all of that. So. Why are you talking about this man? So Jason Whitlock, get your get your act together, brother. You know, you you just are are way out of line. And and me personally, I'm not going to be I'm not going to be watching you. The only reason why your name is in my mouth right now 
is because I'm just trying to defend my brothers that are out there doing their thing and trying to do their thing. Anyway, Fastest 15 Minutes is up. My name is Judson Powell. Sub subscribe to Capri, K-H-E-P-R-I-I. -I. Go to the Roku channel store, add Capri to your channel lineup. We love you.